Stoinovsky is the blocker, right-handed for Russia. Krasilnikov plays defence at the back of court. Russia wearing the blue shorts and the white and grey vests. And they will mix positions. Troy Bourne and Trevor Crabb of the USA will block and defence whichever way they feel is best. It makes the American game very exciting. But here's Krasilnikov to get this grudge match underway. Troy Bourne with the first attack. And Stoyanovsky had his fingers there but didn't quite get the control on the ball. The first point on the board to the USA. Triborn is going to be tested. And he's got a wall of a blocker in front of him. Look for the Russians to serve him quite often. The Americans, they're going to start off with Krasilnikov. Good start for the Americans. It's quick, it's dynamic. And that's what they need against the Russians. And both of these athletes really have some physicality, so athletic. Look at this, this is a left-hand shot by Triborn right down the middle of the court, so quick reaction. And remember, they are best of friends as well, so the chemistry is there. Good serve from Crab for the USA. Krasilnikov pushes that ball to the corner of the USA, right on the line. He's a bit of a cool player, Krasilnikov. Perhaps the most experienced on the court. Uh, used to play with Semenov, I believe, back in the day, his former partner, where they had a lot of success, European champions, and on the FIVB World Tour. But I was very impressed, Dane, with this Oleg Stoyanovsky in their quarter-final match. And that the boys from the US in the red and white need to keep that big blocker out of the match as much as they can if they're to take this from Russia. Good look at Trevor Crabb, older brother of Taylor Crabb, who plays with Jake Gibb. And a little trickler, Krasilnikov is there, and to defend a trickler like that is very impressive. Just goes to show you how quick Krasilnikov is and his reaction time. Trevor Crab's out for a little bit of revenge because the Russians put his brother Taylor Crab out of the competition in the quarterfinals. That's why it's a pretty serious look and stare through the net. America against Russia. Good play though. And I like the way that they're mixing up the shots, the USA. It's not just the traditional boom boom spike play. Roll shots, cut shots, you name it. The Americans are mixing it up perfectly, and that reflects in the scoreline. USA 4, Russia 2. Oh, unlucky. No trickler for Trevor Crabb. Bounces back to his side of the court. Pretty good start for both squads so far. Serving well, setting one another. Good calls, no one's really struck first here no big blocks or spectacular plays just yet players just heating up oh and there it is out of the gate Krasilnikov now that's where the USA need to be careful this gentleman's speed of movement across the court and a very far swing of the arm to put the ball down just takes off and there's no that is the reason you get to see 2017 best defensive player, Krasilnikov. He knows how to move in that backcourt. What a serve from Stoyanovsky. And a fantastic <laughs> save from Trevor Crabb and puts it away. Now that is a play that can only boost your confidence. Wow. That's an ace nine out of 10 times, but not this time. Trevor Crabb somehow sticks out his right arm and this pass goes into the perfect location, allowing Triborn to set Trevor up and then the cut shot. That probably should have been an ace, but a little luck on your side and skill by Trevor Crabb. Looking for the burn mark on his arms there. That ball was going so quick. Triborn serves. Shows the Russians that he can hit the ball hard on service as well. 78 kilometers per hour, but... Uh, Good play from the USA, Stoyanovsky still not getting his way at the net, which is what we had thought would happen. A rip of a serve by the United States, and Stoyanovsky really passes a bullet as well. 
The only difference is he ends up hitting that ball wide. Here's Troy Borden, now 30 years of age, residing in Redondo Beach, but originally from Honolulu in Hawaii. Stoyanovsky finally gets his uh, cross-court spike to work. And again, the USA just do everything they can to keep this youngster, Stoyanovsky, who's 22 years of age out of Moscow, out of the game. Krasilnikov serves for Russia. Continues to target Trevor Crabb. Trevor Crabb has the answers. Great serve received from the American. And also some very nice shots to kill the ball. Big attribute for the United States has been serve receive. They have fended off some extremely tough serving from this Russian duo who's trying to put the pressure, trying to crack them. Krasilnikov. That came so quickly. That grab, he was in the right position, almost had his hands on it. Got to be leaning forward just slightly if you're Trevor Crab. He's on his heels, he's going backwards. It's difficult to dig a ball like that. But it's also just difficult to move forward when that ball's coming at you about 70 miles an hour. Oh, Try more and trying to bounce the line. He just misses it, I believe, out of bounds. Take a look. Here's Try. He goes up, sees the block, and just crushes that ball straight down, but about a foot wide. Stoinovsky with the service, just under seven feet tall. He's a real gentle giant, and uh, was such a gentleman when Dane was interviewing the Russian after that quarterfinal victory earlier this week, Dane. He was a bit overawed by you at first, being interviewed by an Olympic champion, but. Um, Wonderfully polite and excellent English as well from Stoyanovsky. He's going to be a big player in the future, I believe. Yeah, that's a real amazing thing you bring up. Almost all of these international players speak multiple languages. And it is so cool to see them just talk with one person, turn the corner, talk well, in a different impressive. language right away. And so educated as well. All tied at eight all. Very evenly matched in the opening exchanges here. But there's an awful lot at stake. So I think both teams trying to keep the errors to the absolute minimum. This time Triborn targeted with the serve. Krasilnikov for Russia. Nice little touch on the ball. That's the play. Both the Russian, both the American players expecting the ball to come at full speed and a big spike still a lovely little roll shot look at the contact on the ball the rotation and he put that ball right on the money that is exactly where he wanted it to land nice back set from Triborn and uh, Trevor Crabb having success up against Krasilnikov at the net and Stoyanovsky there this time. Stoyanovsky's got to cover these. Just a beautiful set by Triborn, getting it out side enough for Trevor Crabb to squeak it by the block. Back and forth, no team getting much separation, not a lot of runs on either side of the court. And so close to making it happen right there, the United States. Stoyanovsky with service for Russia, big serve. But superbly controlled by Trevor Crab. Oh, that's too long. Now that's painful because uh, we're heading for a technical timeout, remember, with a total of 21 points on the board. And uh, the USA need to side out here to go into that break at 10 to 11 rather than 9 to 12. Big serve from Stoyanovsky. Triborn sets his partner, Trevor Crabb. Crabb over the top of the block. 
right onto the baseline. Good play from the USA. Still any team's match, certainly any team's set to take here in this men's semi-final. And Trevor Crabb deceptive facing that cross court and then he has to go high over Stoyanovsky, but keep it just low enough so that Krishilnikov couldn't run it down. Great execution. And this is how you want to start off a semifinal. Both teams very clean, playing well, and just going blow for blow. Six kills for Trevor Crabb, just one unforced error, that cut shot that went just wide. And it's surprising when you have a huge blocker. Mike Stoyanovsky takes up so much area, and he causes you sometimes to be intimidated where you're trying to go around him and you'll make unforced errors. The United States has done a good job managing their attacks. Good look at Triborn on the right, Trevor Crabb on the left. Not a lot of words to be spoken at the timeout. And sometimes when things are going well, you're battling to stay focused. Regather yourself and get back there and continue. Very little emotion from both teams out on court at this point. Russia with the one point advantage at halfway in the opening set. USA with serve, Triborn. Little kiss off the net, takes the ball out of play. 12-10 to Russia. Krasilnikov will serve. Trevor Crabb on the attack. Cross court. Good shot. Avoiding Stoyanovsky, but keeping it short so Krasilnikov can't save it. Good play from the USA. Trevor Crabbs having a superb starting set. Solid cut shot by Crabb, and he's, he's smart right now. He's picking the right <clears throat> shot. He's making the right decisions. Well, almost an identical shot back from Russia by Krasilnikov. Korea wins for the Russian. Here's his new partner, Stoyanovsky. Second unforced error for Trevor Crabb right there. Just trying to go too sharp down the line and Oleg Stoyanovsky taking up so much area, head up above the net. <clears throat> Hard to deal with him. That's a great serve. Oh! That's got to be worth a challenge. Very close indeed. Touch block, I think the Americans want to... Not ball in or out, but it's touch block. The Triborn is indicating to Sharalampus Papadouglas, the referee. Yeah, it's very important that you challenge the right thing. That ball was close to the back line, but that was not the concern of the United States. They believe there was a touch by Oleg Stoyanovsky, and he's shaking his head. No, I did not touch. He's already back, ready to serve, and that's an easy one. No touch on the block. Point for Russia. This is the seventh final four that Russia have made this season. They really are enjoying exceptional form on the FIVB World Tour. Two victories, of course, in the four-star event in The Hague and in uh, Xiamen, China. A serve right here, ripped by Stoyanovsky. And the United States has seen enough. Look at this one going to the right of Trevor Crabb. 
And he knows he's been beat. Going back to that right line, we've seen that serve a lot, both men and women. It's a vulnerable spot. Of course, we always talk about right down the middle, but to the right shoulder of the right side player can be tough. The Russians on a four to zero run, and they've opened this thing up, 16 to 11, due to the fact that Shilnikov playing some spectacular defense. Six kills, 63% side out. The Russians look relaxed. They do look relaxed, Dan. That's a good call. Certainly no look of concern. Pressure on Team USA now. As Krasilnikov has recorded the highest spike of the match so far at 3 meters 28. It's a huge leap. Looking very calm and collected, Krasilnikov. There's his partner, Oleg Stoyanovsky. Great angle on the ball. Both the Russian players complement each other's work. But it's a scoreline that's just a getting a little tough for the USA now at 17 points to 11. You're absolutely right. Russia starting to pull away. Krishilnikov starting to lock in defensively. You saw that last dig. He's right in the spot, and Oleg Stoyanovsky is not necessarily trying to block every. Wow! Coming right into your living room right there. A little 3D action. <laughs> Ripping that ball again to that right sideline. So difficult. If you're not anticipating it and ready, it gets past you so quickly. Trevor Crabb trying to focus, trying to get his arm there in time. But by the time he gets there, the ball's already past him. No way to pull it back. Wow. Stuinovsky sending that ball over at 60 miles per hour just off 100 kilometers per hour. Here is a game with another big one. This time, testing Triborn. That's a great shot from Triborn. Wow, Triborn has some really great mechanics. He gets up, snaps that ball so quickly. Great contact on top of the ball, and look at him just soaring through the air. Krishilnikov still moving to his right, unable to make a balanced dig. And it has been like that for Triborn all week, really playing at a high level. <laughs> Trevor Crab going for it right there. You don't want to go into those digital boards because they are unforgiving. They do not budge. They're almost like a, a cheese grater. I've seen some people go into it and come out with all sorts of wounds. Trevor Crab aware of this. Don't dive into those digital banners if you really want to live to play another day. Russia looking to close out this opening set now. Koshilnikov with the serve. Triborn on the attack. Another good play from Triborn. Again, this... Uh, Switching it up, Born now at the net, Trevor Crab now back in defense. You can see the idea behind it, Dane. Just confusing the Russian team a little with the US players switching positions. Set point for Russia, 20 to 13. What started off very close and evenly matched has now clearly gone Russia's way. And the USA have allowed the Europeans to get into a rhythm. The serving has been very impressive from both the Russian players. And again, Krasilnikov, excellent in the defence. Little pokey of the ball. Trevor Crabb tries to turn and burn. 21-13. The first set in the men's semi-final, the first of two to be played on centre court tonight, goes to Russia's Krasilnikov and Stoyanovsky. 
And this is how it ended right here. Koshelnikov just out of the reach of Trevor Crabb. He tries the left-handed stab, but the wayward pass goes deep. Nothing Triborn can do about it. What's so impressive about this Russian squad is Stoyanovsky, his athleticism and his versatility as a big man. He sets the ball really nicely for Koshelnikov, and you just don't find them getting in trouble. As we take a look at the match statistics, 85 is the number for side out percentage for the Russian. That is just way too high. Although the United States has done a good job managing Stoyanovsky's blocks, he's at zero right now. Two aces though for Russia. That gives them the advantage. And like you said, Nick, it was fine for a moment, but then the Russians completely pulled away. The Russian serve placement well, the United States switching sides, it says, which would be in that service receive going both ways. But you get to get a good indicator. The right side player is usually Trevor Crabb, and that is what the Russians are targeting. We saw multiple serves to his right sideline from Stoyanovsky. So kind of a power play type of a serve, really trying to just ace the Americans with sheer velocity. Trevor Crabb gets the second set underway. It's a must-win scenario now for the USA. They have to win this second set to force the match to a third set tie break. And of course, Russia will be hoping to close this out as quick as they can and advance to the gold medal match, which will be contested here at the Red Bull Beach Arena at the Rottenbaum Stadium of Hamburg, Germany at 2 p.m. local time tomorrow. Crabb on the attack. Stoyanovsky's got his block working. 2-0 to the Russians. Finally a block for Stoyanovsky. A six foot nine giant at the net. His partner, Krasilnikov, going back to serve. You mentioned earlier, got a fourth place in the 2016 Olympics with Semenov. And he got a third place in the last edition of the World Championships with Nikita Lehmann. Good pick up there from Triborn. Can he finish? Oh, and that ball's too long from Stoyanovsky. <laughs> and he's got a big smile. Stoyanovsky knows he had an opportunity, <laughs> knows he missed it, and let his partner down a little bit. But sometimes all you can do is laugh. This is quite a rally. Kind of a broken play, we would call it. And fortunately for the United States, this poke shot deep to the open court is out of bounds. Triborn serves it right to the middle of the Russian court. Little confusion between the two players, but they get, dig themselves out of it. Rashilnikov pretty happy that he walked away with that point after the confusion on the serve receive. The intensity of Russia not letting up. Ripping that serve. Look at that right down the middle of the court. Solid pass and try born. Quite the athlete, you know, he was also a basketball player at Punahou in Honolulu, where he was the player of the year. His partner, Trevor Crabb, also played basketball. He actually took it to the collegiate level for a couple of years before transferring to Long Beach and playing outside hitter on the volleyball team. So versatility on the American side as Stoyanovsky gets yet another kill, really making it look easy. Now he's taking full advantage of his height as well. Stoyanovsky just under seven feet tall. That's uh, two meters, five centimeters. 22 year old from Moscow. Having a good game, getting all the support that he needs at the back of court from his partner, Krasilnikov. Trevor Krav attacks for the USA. That ball looks to be good. I thought that ball was just off the line, but the referee has a much better view than we. 
And there it is, right on the blue tape. Any part of the ball touches that blue tape and it will be given as in. Need to find a little bit more pace and tempo here, USA. They have to win the second set to stay in the match. Stoyanovsky gives that ball a real wallop. Nobody saw crushing, that one coming. Crushing the ball right here. And this is a tough over on two hit because he's right-handed on the right side. He has to wait for that ball to get to the right side of his body and then take a swing. But Stoyanovsky making it look really easy. Here's Cramp for the USA. Again, Krasilnikov. Oh, <laughs> Stoyanovsky puts it into his own net. You don't see that one often, right? He tried to bounce that ball a little too straight down. An open net. Stoyanovsky at six foot nine inches tall. Hitting it into the bottom of the net. That just goes to show you the majority of time these players make it look easy. If that ball drops just a few inches, the ball is not going to clear the top of the net as we saw there. Krasilnikov for Russia. Goes down the line. Shoulders telling the American players he was going cross court. But then there's that just change of movement. Lovely shot to watch this in slow mo. And you see how efficient Krasilnikov's shot is. It's just on the fingertips, just out of reach of the blocker. Oh, wow. I'm surprised that uh, Trevor Crabb hasn't taken that step to the right, maybe shift to the right, tell your partner Triborn to cover a little of the middle and come with him, and then you force the Russians to go down Triborn's line yeah. instead of cross court, which is obviously their serve of choice. They are loving that line, and it's causing fits for Trevor Crabb. It's a very good point that you make, Dane. Three clear now, Russia, having won the first set 21 to 13. Stoyanovsky with another very good block. That's his third block of the match. With his cap on, he's seven foot tall, Stoyanovsky. Huge, long levered athlete. And those arms. Getting the angle just right. Stuffs that block down to the American sand. Good play. Russia four clear. They've got quite a few supporters in the crowd. Back set from Trevor Crabb. Try Bourne. Well, he dropped off the net, hadn't he? Stoyanovsky. He was almost in Krasilnikov's way there. Looked like the United States was in trouble right there, right? The Russians drop off the net, two defenders back, but Triborn with a quick arm swing splits them. Stoyanovsky, when he gets those perfect sets from his partner, gets some amazing power on the ball. And a lot of top spin to go with it as well. It's such an impressive shot from Oleg. Great up by the retreating Oleg Stoyanovsky, but the quick arm swing of Triborn gets it done. That ball falls in front of Krasilnikov. He just could not get there in time. Triborn. Three championships internationally. A couple on the FIVB World Tour. He's won three times on the American AVP Tour as well. And he has played in the World Championships before. Fifth place in The Hague back in 2015. Stoyanovsky's found his rhythm now. Putting in some lovely shots. The Russian blocker. This 
smart shot. You know, notice the difference? He went deep on that instead of trying to bang the ball straight down and pulling the net into play. Koshilnikov with a lovely short jump float. Trevor Crabb goes up to attack for the USA. Lovely roll shot over the top of the block, right down the line. That's more like it for Trevor Crabb. Accurate, needs to get back on track. It's as if the Russians are just being patient. They're waiting for a few unforced errors to expand the lead. Good cover from Trevor Crabb. Krasilnikov, roll shot over the top, covered this time by Triborn. Big man puts the block down, he enjoyed that. Challenge already. So what Trevor Crabb tried to do was challenge an over call. And he seemed to think that the ball had completely come over the net on the U.S. side when Oleg Stoyanovsky went up and tipped it, which would be illegal, but not challengeable. It's just not one of the rules that are challengeable, and it happened earlier in the rally, so you'd actually have to stop down in the middle of the rally, but it's not even a challengeable offense. Therefore, you saw the X that the referee made. Line shot's been effective and efficient for Trevor Crabb. That's a risky one, a low line outside of the block. It's one thing to go line over the block. This one goes right past the elbow of the left arm of Stoyanovsky. Could have easily been thrown back. What a smart shot by Crabb. Krasilnikov swings his arm, 12-8. Again, a little bit of pressure on the USA now to side out in this final point before the technical timeout, with a total of 21 on the board. Don't really want to be facing a 13-8 deficit going into part two. There's a little bit of luck. 9-12 for the USA. But Russia have won the opening set 21-13. So the Americans need to find another gear, Dane. I think that's fair to say. Any words of wisdom from you with your coaching hat on? Well, they just need to be a little more consistent. It, it's, this is the problem. It's so hard to score when serving against Russia. They're just so solid. So you're trying to work on your side-out game. But at the same time, you're trying to score points when you're serving. And they just put so much pressure as we look at the U.S. attack zones here. You see a lot coming from the right side. That's because that's where Trevor Crabb is. And on that left side is where Triborn is. Here's the Russian attack. On the left side, it is Krasilnikov getting the majority of the hits out there. Beautiful graphics right there. And Stoyanovsky on the right side. The Americans trying to avoid him at all cost. And so you see the different attack zones for both teams. It's important that you pass the ball in system so it's easy to set and then run your offense. Stoyanovsky, 64 jumps, burning 425 K cows. That's from the real time body sensors on every one of the players out on court. Bit of pressure on the USA now. 9-12, Krasilnikov. Well, there's that pressure being answered. Coming out of the tech timeout with a quick point on the board. Narrowing that advantage to just two. You know, Nick, I'd like to see this combination more often because I think in terms of Trevor Crabb, I think he's a better blocker at the net. I think Triborn is a better defender in the backcourt. They both can do both. There's no question about that. 
but I think the strongest combination is that right there. It's a great strike of the ball from Stoyanovsky. And as Dane was telling us at the beginning of this broadcast, 22 years of age, great future ahead of him. There's that big serve that he brings to the game. He drops off the net, but not effective or efficiently enough. It's good play from the USA, belting that ball right at the body of Stoyanovsky. What a great serve right there, and Trevor Crabb getting out of trouble. He has been the target of choice for Russia. And so every sign out, so important to celebrate. You see Triborn fired up. Crab with the jump floats to Krasilnikov, who now attacks for Russia. A lovely angle on the ball again. That's his favorite shot. He'll do that all day if you let him. And, and the United States kind of looking for answers. You know, they were serving Krasilnikov. You're thinking, we're not getting anywhere with this. Let's go to Oleg Stoyanovsky, and then you have to deal with them. There's just not a lot of ways to score points when Russia's playing at such a high level right now. Krasilnikov's completely missed here at that service. In rally point scoring, that's a quick score for the USA. Triborn continues to target Krasilnikov now. Down the line he goes. Lovely weight on the ball. It's deep into the American court. Look at this high rotation. Krasilnikov, one of the best contact players. When he gets that hand on the ball, he gets great rotation. He gets great command of the ball. And rarely does he hit it anywhere that he doesn't want it to go. Shot from Triborn again. He you know, not scoring on service now, the USA. Otherwise, they'll just trade side outs with them, the Russians, and then sweep it up at the end. It's so difficult to cut into the lead because it is so difficult to score when serving. Oh, there it is. Finally, some service trouble for the Russians. Communication. The hubby wife, I got it, you take it. And the arms clash. And that is one of the very rare errors that we have seen all afternoon here out of this Russian duo. That's a perfectly located middle ball, almost mirroring each other as the ball goes by. Play like that, you just kind of, you know, laugh it off, make a slight adjustment, and get back into the groove russia gonna call a timeout here why not no why not 30 second break and that's the one clear error that they made i was about to say until that mistake or excellent serve from the usa they've been quite clinical in the way that they have been dealing with the usa of course the russians are undefeated haven't dropped a set throughout the competition that gives them an air of confidence German crowd warming up for the second semi-final when the local boys, Wickler and Tolle, will go up against Moll and Sorum. That's the next match. Down it goes. The break advantage back with Russia at 16 to 14. Once again, Stoyanovsky just crushing it right down the middle. That ends up a field goal right between the uprights of Triborn. Krasilnikov serving for Russia. Good play. Looked to be in a little bit of trouble there, didn't he, Trevor Crabb, on the serve receive. But his partner helps him out. And that's a very important point on the board for the USA. And we've seen the United States really grovel and come back in tough situations 
against Ehlers and Flugen. They lost that first set and then came back 21-19 in the second and were able to be victorious 15-10 in the third. So maybe they can squeeze out this second set and force a third and maybe create some magic. But it is going to be a tall order the way that Russia is playing right now. Service error from uh, Oleg Stoyanovsky. Chance here for the USA to tie the scores. Triborn puts the ball down. 17 all. This is exactly the right time to state their claim now, the USA for the second set. Triborn did a really good job of waiting to the last second to jump into the line and extend. Most importantly, he presses back to the left to keep that ball in bounds. Really a solid execution of a block. Good short service from Trevor Crabb. Wow, Krushelnikov making a Hitting error right there, and for the first time we saw a little back and forth between Kashilnikov and Stoyanovsky, a shrug of the shoulders from Kashilnikov. He's not happy that he missed that shot, but check it out. Sharp angle. Just a couple inches out. Maybe that causes some frustration for the Russians, but definitely some confidence for the Americans. Four straight points for the USA. 1917. They can maintain this pressure on Russia. We'll be heading to a third set tiebreak. Triborn really starting to assert himself up at the net. That ball hitting the left arm, the right arm, coming right back. Can they do it again? It's out. Uncharacteristic error from uh, Krasilnikov. And it is set point for the USA. Well played, Triborn and Trevor Crabb. Well, this is what happens when you make a hitter start to think about things. You know, Krasilnikov was playing basically thoughtless, and now he's thinking about Triborn. Late drop by Triborn, thinking he was going to get a roll shot. And if he would have roll shot at that over the block, I mean, Triborn would have been in the perfect spot. He was trying to dupe him into it. Krasilnikov not buying it. He brings some heat. Second set point for the USA. What a great rally, and it's still going. There's the winning play from Russia. All four players pushing themselves to the limit here. Brilliant beach volleyball. The crowd on their feet, applauding with appreciation. Check this one out. It goes on and on and on. This is the longest rally that we have seen on center court. No question about that in these world championships. This one just wouldn't end. Beautiful play on both ends. But finally, it's Grishilnikov who goes high line. It lands right on the line for the winner and to save the set. If the United States would have won that point, the set would have been over. We would have been going three. Now the United States very tired. They have they've taken a timeout just to gather themselves because they know they're one point away from pushing this thing to a third set. 
And it's crazy to think, it seems like Russia has been in control from the start. If the United States can get one point here, it'll be like a reset. We'll be starting equal in the third set. But easier said than done, right? When Stoyanovsky in your face and Krasilnikov, we know that he is ruthless from that back line, not afraid to rip it even at set point for the other team. Set two in the men's semifinal. United States of America just need to side out here and we're into a third set tie break. Set point number three for the USA. It's over. That ball is out of play from Krasilnikov. Trevor Crabb signals to the crowd. We're taking this to a third set. Uh, you know, I, I think that was kind of a foolish play because you have Oleg Stoyanovsky as a blocker. Give him an opportunity to make a block, right? But I know how Krasilnikov likes to play. He likes to go 100 miles an hour all the time. So live by the sword, die by the sword. He went for it. He missed it. He's over it. Let's get to this third set. You just want to think you can give yourself a chance, but he goes for the ace. Right down the middle, he catches that ball too low. It's got to go upward trajectory and not enough time for it to get down. So a free pass on that last play for the United States. But wow, did they earn it, manufacturing some huge points throughout, especially Triborn up at the net. Here are the match statistics so far. 76 to 65 in terms of side out position percentage in favor of the Russians. Blocks all tied at three aces, three to one for the Russians. And kills 27 to 21 Russians in the lead there as well. But none of that matters. We're all down to the sprint, the quick set to 15 points. Let's take a look at the USA serve placement. Krasilnikov on the left side getting all, or let's say a majority of the ball, 61% more down the middle. And he's played really lights out up until those last few points where we saw him cut a ball out, down the line, cross court, get dug or blocked one time. And so you just never know when you're gonna break through. 513K cows for Crab. Born 505. Serious output. They're working hard. Third set tie break. USA get the ball into play. First team to make 15. No tech timeout in the third set tie break. And we switch sides at every five rather than seven points scored on the board. Krishilnikov coming out aggressive. That hit high off the left hand of Triborn. That's the serve that Krasilnikov was trying to perform at the end of the second set. Great roll shot there over the top of the block. The USA put their first point on the board in this third set tiebreak. Who goes to the gold medal match? Who goes to the bronze medal match? That is what we're sorting out here at the beat, the Red Bull Beach Arena. Triborn serves for the USA. Still targeting Krasilnikov, the US, with all of their serves at the moment. Krasilnikov powers that one down cross court. The advantage back to Russia at two to one. It's as if we haven't even mentioned Stoyanovsky over the last 10 minutes, it seems. He's been relegated to a server and a setter. Hasn't enforced his will blocking and hasn't had many opportunities to hit the ball either. I think in order for Russia to win this, he's going to have to insert himself, be a little more aggressive. Well, oh. as if he heard what you said, Dane. There is Stoyanovsky with a sensational block. Huge leap to make sure there's no room at all for Triborn. And Trevor had made a huge dig, right? Stoyanovsky just nullifies it by stuffing that ball straight down. That was a big opportunity for the United States to 
score while serving. Krasilnikov served to Trevor Crabb. Good play from Trevor Crabb. Two big points on the board for the 29-year-old. Uh, Good play. Holding their own here, the USA. Krasilnikov. Try born with the block this time. 4-3 to the U.S. Triborn is really blocking the ball well. His technique, his timing. He's a spectacular outside hitter at the University of Southern California as well at USC. Played some pro ball indoor before turning to the beach. And really technical, technically sound as a blocker up at the net. Shilnikov again cross court. As you said before, Dan Stoyanovsky's got to get himself into this game somehow. And uh, it's a good tactical play by the Americans. All serves are going to Krasilnikov. Most of the attacking play is also going to him. Right now, Stoyanovsky, as you said, Dane, just a server and a setter. Trading blows right now, back and forth. That's Crab on the right side. Great vision. She's out of his peripheral. The block is taking line. And it looked like Krasilnikov trying to run down the line. Crashing over each other again. That's the second time that's happened. It's a break for the USA at six to four. Look at Crab, how aggressive he is with the right hand, reaching, throwing it back. Oh, a little snarl on the face of Triborn. Maybe starting to feel it a little bit. Russia call the timeout. Well, dare I say it, Dane, but the Russians now look the more fatigued of the four players out on court, breathing heavily there whilst in the dugout, and Stoyanovsky looking tired. Yeah, it's, you know, it's been a long tournament, a long mess there. The Russian pass accuracy, they're 60% in system, so they've been running a strong offense. The United States, 54% in system. And... You're absolutely right. I mean, this has been a long match, a lot of back and forth, and mentally for the Russians, I think they thought they were going to win this thing in two sets, and that's just a tribute to the United States. Crab and Bourne are fighters. And that huge rally towards the end of the second set seems to have taken a lot out of the Russian players, possibly more so than the USA, as you've called, Dane. The US digging deep here. Krasilnikov. Tools that ball off the block of Triborn. Valuable point back for the Europeans. You know what the United States has also done is they have neutralized the serve. Remember how effective Russia's serving had been, and it has been quiet as of late. Good play from Trevor Crabb. The Americans looking confident now. Russian's head is starting to look down. Looking just a little dejected, Stoyanovsky. He's getting frustrated. It's a good play by the US. Very rarely has Kashilnikov missed that shot throughout this match. Triborn tried to drop his hands there, waiting for the shot. Try constantly trying to make moves to outsmart the Russians. To try to get a little bit of an edge. There's a block. And we haven't seen Stoyanovsky in some time. Finally, 
he enforces his will at the net, one of his biggest strengths. There's a shot right into the hands, just nothing that the United States could do. No way to cover that one. Scores are tied at 7 all, but we're heading to 15 in this third set tie break rather than 21. It's now 8 7 to Russia. 15 total score on the board. Side switch. Here's another serve going to Trevor Crabb's right. And he's just leaving way too much space there between himself and the sideline. Because of the velocity of the serve, it's almost impossible to get over there quick enough to get both arms on it. Oh, that's a service ace from Stoyanovsky. And that couldn't come at a more better time for the Russian team. Oleg Stoyanovsky trying to get the crowd involved. We had just mentioned their serving had gone quiet, giving credit to the Americans for neutralizing the serve. They must have heard that. They started ripping the ball in two aces in a row. And that is huge in this matchup that has been so tight from the first whistle. The Americans call a timeout. Again, the 30-second break will hopefully take a little bit of the pace out of this Russian game. They've turned up the dial again, haven't they, Russia? No communication at all between the American players. Yeah, they know what to do. There's yeah. nothing to talk about. It's just a matter of getting by Stoyanovsky or preparing yourself to receive this initial serve. Here's the big man. Oh, he nearly got another one away there, didn't he? A brilliant serve, just shy of 90 kilometers per hour. And a Russia now open a three-point lead. That score from Krasilnikov rekindles the fire from Russia. And all of a sudden, they find another gear in their quest to take this third set. Nick, I think you're exactly right. It looked like the Russians may be running out of gas, slumping their shoulders. The body language did not look good. And then all of a sudden, they decide to go to the back line, rip some serves, get their energy back up, and then another long rally. But this time, they prevail. Krishilnikov moving to his left, hitting back to the right, confusing the Americans and scoring a point, a three-point lead. Such an amazing thing, adrenaline and sport. Oh, and now the U.S. are in trouble. 11-7, four clear. Shake of the heads, looking down to the sand, while Russia are punching the air in celebration. Well, it started with those two aces. The ace down the line of Trevor Crabb, and then the ace down the middle off of Triborn. And Ever since, Russia has looked extremely sharp. Six in a row. Almost seven there. Oh, Triborn has pushed that ball out of play. It was a good plan. The tactic was definitely the right one, but he just struck it a little too hard. It's now 12-7 to Russia. Can you believe it? Who would have thought seven points in a row the way the pace of this game was going? Another race from Stoyanovsky. 13-7. And with the adrenaline pumping through the Russian players' veins, there's no stopping them now. You know, when the United States looks at this tape, they're going to say, wow, why didn't we stop that cross-court line serve? Make him serve line to line. Make him do something that he doesn't want. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's about five aces to that location. Absolutely. 
and Stoyanovsky feeling it. He says, what do you think about that? Let me hear it. Puts that one into the net. At 102 kilometers per hour, over 60 miles per hour. The speed on the ball from Stoyanovsky's serve. Trevor Crabb serves Krasilnikov, who attacks now for Russia. He's been putting that one away for most of the match. It is match point now for the Russians at 14 to 8. Finding another gear right at the time it matters most here. We thought that they were out of gas. One point back. A mountain to climb for the USA. But they're on the first rung of the ladder now. Match point number two for Russia. One simple side out here, and Russia will be advancing to the World Championship Finals. Try born with the service. Stoyanovsky sets Krasilnikov, and the block this time from Try born There's another point back. Could the USA dig themselves out of this hole. We've seen it happen today once already. It's not impossible. They need to keep scoring on their serve. Here's third match point for Russia now. There's another one back. 11 to 14. I think Russia has seen enough. No, it's a side change, actually. So a little break in action as the teams will switch ends. But how about Triborn and Trevor Kraft again putting up a fight? There it is. Match goes to Russia. Two sets to one. They won the first 21-13, lost the second 19-21. Dug really deep to take that third set tie break at 15 to 11. They almost played themselves back into the match. The USA doing very well to take that second set, forcing the Russians to the third set tie break. But Krasilnikov and Stoyanovsky advanced to the gold medal match to be contested here in Hamburg tomorrow afternoon for the United States of America. They will go into the bronze medal clash with the losers of the second semi-final just a few moments away here at the Red Bull Beach Arena.